Hello everyone. I plan to um, do the whole uh, process of building a pedal, um, but before I get into actually soldering the components onto the board, I I'll be building the Mad Bean Slam Box. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward build and probably a good one for a beginner to start with. Um, but before we go into that, I have to just um, give a um, short explanation on how to read component values because it'll make it easier for you to order parts and um, to actually identify which components need to go uh, where on the on the PCB. We'll start with resistor values because they're probably the easiest. Um, resistor values vary from uh, a couple of ohms up to 10, 20 mega ohms um, and for guitar pedals uh, you'll be using a, a lot of different values there are two types of um, uh, resistors. You've got metal film and carbon composite, and uh, you can tell the difference because uh, one's blue and the other one's kind of a tan color. And um, you can see the bands on the actual resistor, and that's um, that's a color code that tells you the value of the resistor. But if you have a multimeter, it's e it's easier just to check with the multimeter sorry the multimeter um, as you can see on the front um, K stands for killer ohms and um, sorry we're on this side K stands for killer ohms and M stands for mega ohms and uh, one kilo ohm is a thousand ohms one mega ohm is uh, a million ohms it's pretty straightforward so you can just use a multimeter they're pretty cheap these days uh, you can also work it out from the color codes um, and there's a few websites actually that um, uh, that are pretty good for that. The one that I like is uh, this one, which uh, you can see the um, address at the top there. Uh, Sam, S A M E N G S T R O M dot com. There's two different um, bands at the top here. Uh, sorry, there's three, but you probably won't use six band much. Uh, four and five are the ones that you use the most. And you just hit the um, colors, and it'll tell you. Um, uh, it'll tell you what the uh, what the value of the resistor is. One other thing with resistors too is um, that there's a few different types of power ratings and generally for guitar pedals we only use quarter uh, quarter watt um, resistors. Sometimes you occasionally use half watt resistors but uh, yeah most of them are quarter watt. I'll uh, just give a quick explanation on the um, on capacitor values and how to read those now. Unlike resistors where one ohm is a particularly small amount, with capacitors one farad is actually quite a large amount. Um, you generally deal with um, microfarads, um, nanofarads and picofarads and capacitors are usually always measured in picofarads. So with capacitors, uh, unlike resistors where a thousand ohms would equal a kilo ohm. With capacitors, one farad is a large amount, as I said before. Um, and as you get smaller, um, you're looking at one uh, one point zero zero one farad is actually one millifarad. Point zero zero one millifarad is one microfarad. 0.001 microfarad is 1 nanofarad and 0.001 nanofarad is a peak farad. So the easiest way to read these these capacitors is this one's got 3300 on the front of it for instance. 3300 picofarads so you could say it's 3300 picofarads but it's easier to think of that in the next bracket because you're hitting the thousand you'd be looking at this one would be 3.3 nanofarads because it's gone up to the next the next prefix um, this one here has got 154 written on the front of it that doesn't mean 154 picofarads though that actually means 15 with four zeros after it so this one would be um, 15 with four zeros is 150 nanofarads. That's right. If you think of it as 
um, the way I remember is um, if you remember that 104 is 10 and and four zeros after it and that equals 100 nanofarads you can pretty much work out everything else from there so if it's 103 it'll be 10 nanofarads if it's 102 it'll be 1 nanofarad etc etc so 154 is 150 nanofarads that's the way I remember it um, if it was 101 it would actually be 100 picofarads because see you've gone back into the you've gone into a lower range hope that makes sense um, they, they are a bit confusing you can al you can also get a capacitor um, reading uh, multimeter um, I've never used one before but if you do have if you do struggle with um, these capacitor values it's probably um, best to get a capacitor capacitor multimedia multimeter um, also there's um, another type of capacitor called an electrolytic capacitor which is these these black can looking things um, and they actually just have it written written on the side um, in and they're usually measured in um, in microfarad so this says this says 10 <coughs> excuse me 10 and then a U with a little tail which is the symbol for micro and then F so this is 10 microfarads it's also got a white stripe on the side um, which indicates the negative of the capacitor and these must go in the correct polarity otherwise your cir circuit won't work and you'll probably damage the um, capacitor itself one other thing with um, capacitors actually I, I just thought of um, you can use either green or the the green cap or the box the the box type um, they both do the same job there's debate about which ones sound better but I personally don't have cat-like hearing I can't tell the difference um, it's up to you which one you want to use you but the benefit of using the box type is obvious it's a lot smaller and it fits on the boards and and um, a lot of the pedal pedal boards are actually made for the box type and not for the green caps some are made for the green caps as well but if um, if the green caps gonna fit the box types gonna fit because they're 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 generally smaller um, yeah so you can use you can pretty much use either of those I might actually just go to the um, schematic to show to show you how to just how to distinguish which one of these of these three types of capacitors you need to put into your circuit it's a common question actually um, which type of capacitor should I put uh, in this particular place and how do I know which capacitor I'm supposed to put in the radial um, electrolytic type, the can, the one that looks like a black can with the stripe, um, that's easy to distinguish because you can see, like for instance here, C2, I mean it's capacitor 2, um, you can see it's round, it's got a, the round symbol across the top, and it's also got the plus, so it shows you which side, which side to put the positive lead. Um, and you can work out what value that particular capacitor is by looking down at the um, bill of materials down here and you can see C2 is actually a 10 microfarad so it's actually the, the cap exact capacitor that I was just showing you before um, so that's how to work out with electrolytics um, generally the box type are boxes you can see here C1 um, is in the shape of a box and um, as I was saying before you can see that C1 is 100 nanofarad and generally generally it's, it's the microfarad capacitors that are in the electrolytic type um, and once you go below micro into nano and pico you start looking at um, at, at box types uh, and generally when you're talking about pico if you see a value that actually says picofarad on it you're looking at the at the ceramic disc type um, capacitors so um, on this board there's only um, there's only a couple other components that need to go into it it's pretty straightforward uh, it's a pretty straightforward build um, and one of those is the actual um, is the um, tran the transistor and I'm just going to show you what a transistor looks like so you know uh, this is this is my stuff from uh, that I've ordered from future like um, which I usually get my components from because they're uh, quite cheap um, and yeah that's the transistor the little black thing with the three legs um, they need to go into in 
the board in a particular way because uh, obviously they can fit um, you know back or front um, so the easiest way is to find the data sheet on the internet to work out which way around they should go um, but actually I mean you can just actually just if it's only got one transistor in the board you can just put it in one way and if it doesn't work properly the way it's supposed to just flip it around it's it's I, I've had them in the wrong way plenty of times and I haven't damaged one yet they're, they're, they're generally pretty re resilient or look up the data sheet on the internet if you're worried about it there is another um, type of component actually that's on the um, that's on this build and that's the potentiometer and basically the potentiometer is just an adjustable resistor um, this is the this is what the user of the pedal uses to interface with the circuit so uh, in, for the slam box it's only it's actually just a volume control you can see on the schematic that the potentiometer that we need to use for the slam box is a 5kc you know what 5k means now that's 5000 ohms and the c on the end is the actual taper type uh, i won't go into taper types if you want to know more about that just look look it up on um on google it's pretty straightforward but i don't want to waste time with it um, and you just got to make sure that you get the right taper type the circuit will still work if you use the wrong taper type but you'll just notice that when you turn the turn the volume um, uh, up and down the volume will seem like it's all bunched up on one side of the turn it'll do nothing for 90 percent of it and then all of a sudden bang you'll get the whole lot at the at the end of it so for this one we need um, uh, 5kc which c means audio um, and um, yeah, so you have, when you order when you order your your potentiometer, just make sure that you get the C type. Um, and there's two other types: is A and B, and um, A's A's logarithmic, and B is linear. So don't, make sure you don't get either of those. You want C, which is audio. So that's pretty much it for um, this sort of crash course in what components are what. Um, I'll be doing a. a um, a tutorial on actually how to build the slam box next um, if you've seen my how to etch the PCB um, layouts uh, tutorial then um, you and how to drill it as well as another one on how to actually drill it too um, you'll have um, you'll be up to this stage you'll actually have the board um, so you'll just need to order your parts um, so you've got them available obviously for the next part because we're going to actually start soldering them onto the board so that's it um, yeah, thanks for watching and um, yeah, don't, for don't forget to subscribe.